Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Recha Akudash. Double honors to the apostles of Great Millstone, and peace and blessings to the elect. This is from rtnews.com. And, um, you know, New York basically proposed a bill, all right, that was um, very similar to what we're about to read here in this article. And it was going into having detention centers, you know, detention, uh, 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 you know, camps for people that they, they deem to be um, uh, carriers, all right, of, um, you know, uh, diseases or viruses or whatever the case may be. Now, this here says uh, Saxony Migrant Center to be turned into um, C-19 jail for repeat quarantine violators. All right. And just as just as as you're seeing, it's becoming reality right in front of your faces. It says a build a building that used to host people seeking asylum in Germany is being converted into a Corona jail, <clears throat> a detention facility for people who repeatedly violate quarantine. The German tabloid bill reported the facility is located in the northern part of Dresden, Saxony, and was built in 2017 at a cost of 30 million euro, equivalent to 30, uh, 36.4 million dollars, to host people waiting for their petitions for asylum in Germany to be processed. Now the state authorities are converting it into a detention center meant for repeat uh, quarantine violators, according to the newspaper. A person not isolating voluntarily when ordered, uh, when ordered to will be given a warning then a fine, and if that doesn't work, a court may take away their freedom, officials explained, adding that the measure is meant to protect third parties from the unruly behavior of the person being accommodated at the facility. The site has a fence with barbed wire on top, judging by the photo published by Build, and is said to have police guards. <laughs> All right, so welcome to a concentration camp. Because <clears throat> what do you think what do you think they um they're gonna start doing to you when you're in there? Because now you're you're a dissident, you're a problem to society. You don't want a quarantine. So you break quarantine and then we give you a warning. Then you do it again and then we find you. And then you do it again. And now we've thrown you in here. So something doesn't seem to be clicking in your head. So we need to re educate you. We need to help concentrate your mind, all right, on staying quarantined, all right? So when you come out of this place, you can be a new person, one that is fit for society. Now, they show you that in um, uh, the movie 1984, George Orwell's 1984, where at the end, you know, um, uh, when the main character gets caught, basically he's... Um, uh, branded as a thought criminal because he's now thinking for himself and he wants to, you know, he's questioning things and they're torturing him and the guy torturing him, he basically has the, the main character stretched out on a, on a metal board that electrocutes him and then he asks him, he puts up like four fingers and then he asks the main character, how many fingers do I have? Up. And then he says four and then he shocks him again and he keeps on shocking him and shocking him and shocking him until he says, I don't know. Okay. And that, that's what they want you to know. They don't want you to, you even though you see four, they don't want you to think for yourself. They want you to say what they will tell you. So if you say four, they didn't tell you it was four. Even though you see four, that's not what the guy told you. So you shock him again. If you say three, that's not what he told you. So you shock him again. You got to say, I don't know, so that they can tell you what it is. All right. And that was a form of, of uh, trauma and brainwashing through pain and torture to get him to uh, uh, um, think the way they want him to think. So it's a gradual thing, but eventually detention centers, microchipping, vaccinations, quarantines, martial law, barricades, uh, police checkpoints, arm checkpoints, it's going to become norm, a norm of society. All right. Universal basic income. Okay. FEMA in the streets. I mean, it's going to become a, a norm society, but it's gradual. All right. You see how things are moving. You know, now these, these detention centers are being talked about more and more because 
they're they're bringing up the issue that hold up what else are we supposed to do to these people you know we find them but they clearly don't care they don't take heed to the warning so if they won't quarantine voluntarily then are we supposed to just let them out to go and infect the community and just keep on finding them even though they don't care no we need something more drastic and there they have their justification and notice as you as i said that what they're gonna have police guards now it doesn't mention under what circumstances you will be let out or if you will be let out or if they will let you out without taking a vaccine you know all these different things that's they're, they're eventually going to start pushing this mainstream all right and then you're seeing this heavy censorship via uh social media and these big tech platforms okay you know you're seeing a lot of things go down man and it's all the setting up for this new world order in april the saxony government earmarked 22 rooms at four mentos hospitals to keep quarantine breakers in custody but backtracked after public uproar the idea of imprisoning people at a psychiatric ward appeared sovietesque to many some dissidents in the eastern bloc were infamously diagnosed as mentally ill and locked up uh so michael uh Kretsch Kretschmer, the president, uh, the president minister of the federal state dropped it even as his health minister complained that her plan was mischaracterized by bad faith critics. So what you're seeing is these health ministers are becoming the, 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 the voice, you know, oh, they know so much about it. So let's take their advice. If they say throw people in jail, but it's not going to be a regular jail. It's going, they're going to have a special kind of jail, you know, a C-19 jail, detention center you know whatever the case may be so you have you have quarantine criminals and then you have regular criminals germany this week has surpassed 2 million c19 infections and is recording a rise in the death rate with the fatalities count almost reaching 45,000 on friday chancellor angela Merkel is is to meet regional leaders next tuesday pushing forward a gathering that was initially scheduled for january 25th to further discuss lockdown measures all right and then it goes on about more statistics but now you're seeing what's going on okay and like we keep saying it's a gradual process so it's going to happen all right this is going to become reality but this is all biblical i'm gonna get a quick precept this is the book of uh second Ezra, chapter 16 and just straight to the point verse 72 it says for they shall waste and take away matter of fact i'll start at 71 they shall be like madmen sparing none but still spoiling and destroying those that fear the Lord. So when they come in, they're not going to come to talk or, you know, make deals and, you know, try to try to find some middle ground. No, they're coming as if they don't even have, you know, uh, the capability. All right. Of, uh, of sympathizing with you. And it says <coughs> that uh, they sh for they shall waste and take away their goods, anything of value to you. And that could be a family as well and cast them out of their houses. Now, when they cast you out your house, where are they going to take you? You know, in the, in the bill that, that New York proposed, they said they're going to be able to take you out your house and then take you to these facilities, right? Now, it sounded crazy, right? But here it is. Germany's doing it. And then the more other countries start doing it, it doesn't sound so crazy, the, the bill that New York proposed after all. And then boom. It's only a matter of time, man. It's only a matter of time. Okay. So I'm ended off here. You know, we're going to keep on watching, man, because we know that when all is said and done. All right. <laughs> this place is going down and it's going down hard and heavy. All right. So prepare for the uh, the um, the uh, the the fallout. All right. Of the collapse of this place. So with that, I hope you were edified in closing. I want to give all praises, honor and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rechah Kodash. Until next time. Shalom.